Pharma Flash, a quick look at this week's most read news stories. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of the Pharma Flash. The Pharma Flash is a weekly rundown of the top five most read news articles on American Pharmaceutical Review and Pharmaceutical Outsourcing's websites. My name is Mike Auerbach. I'm the editor in chief of both publications, and I'll be counting down the top five most read news articles. And in at number five, Corning and SGD Pharma opened a new glass tubing facility in India. The facility will specialize in the production of high quality glass tubing for pharmaceutical packaging applications. The collaboration between Corning and SGD Pharma combines Corning's expertise in glass science with SGD Pharma's manufacturing capabilities. The new facility aims to meet the increasing demand for reliable and sustainable glass packaging solutions in the pharmaceutical industry and represents a commitment to advancing pharmaceutical packaging technology and enhancing the supply chain for high quality glass tubing. At number four, the Harvard Drug Group issued a recall of dronabinol and ziprazidone capsules due to a label mix-up. The mix-up occurred during the packaging process, resulting in incorrect labels being placed on the respective medication bottles. Dronabinol is a synthetic form of cannabis used to treat nausea and vomiting, while ziprazidone is an antipsychotic medication. The Harvard Drug Group is working to rectify the situation and urges healthcare providers and patients to return the affected products. At number three, the U.S. District Court of New Jersey ruled in favor of Merck in a patent infringement lawsuit regarding their drug Bridion. The court determined that the generic version of Bridion produced by a competitor infringed upon Merck's patent. The ruling reinforces Merck's exclusive rights to manufacture and distribute the product, which is a medication used in surgical procedures for the reversal of neuromuscular blockade. The decision protects Merck's intellectual property and upholds their position in the market for this specific drug. At number two, Blue Water Biotech acquired the rights to six FDA-approved drugs from another company. The acquisition includes a range of medications used to treat various conditions. This strategic move allows Blue Water Biotech to offer a broader range of treatment options to patients and potentially increase their market presence. The company aims to leverage these acquired drugs to improve patient care and contribute to medical advancements in the pharmaceutical industry. And finally, at number one, our most read news article. Novartis announced its acquisition of Chinook Therapy Therapeutics, a biotech company specializing in the development of medicines for kidney diseases. The deal aims to enhance Novartis's portfolio in the field of renal medicine by leveraging Chinook's expertise and pipeline. The acquisition will provide Novartis with access to Chinook's lead candidate, a potential treatment for a rare kidney disorder called immunoglobulin A nephropathy. This strategic move aligns with Novartis's commitment to advancing innovative therapies for patients with kidney diseases. And there it is, our rundown of the top five most read news stories on American Pharmaceutical Review and Pharmaceutical Outsourcing's websites. Thanks so much for watching and tune in next week for our next Pharma Flash. For the latest news, articles, and multimedia on the global pharmaceutical industry, visit American Pharmaceutical Review and Pharmaceutical Outsourcing and sign up for our e-newsletters.